Welcome to the Australian Fossil and Mineral Museum. I'm here to show you a spectacular collection of fossils and minerals that have come from across the globe. It is the lifetime work of Professor Warren Somerville. He has started collecting as a child in Orange and he has donated this priceless collection to the public. It is on display here in Bathurst and I invite you to come and have a look at this world-class collection. Professor Warren Somerville spent 60 years collecting the finest quality collection of fossils and minerals from across the globe. We have divided that collection into a fossil gallery and a mineral gallery. On display in the mineral gallery we have minerals that are arranged by location. We have some of the best quality specimens of particular species of minerals that are found in the world. We also have minerals that are arranged by their, their mineral type and in that section we actually have everyday objects. It discusses the uses of minerals in everyday life. Without those minerals we would be sitting without anything in a cave. We wouldn't even be wearing an animal skin without using minerals in everyday life. And this, this museum not only shows the beauty of those minerals but also demonstrates the use of those minerals. We have a two billion year old fossil specimen, we have some of the earliest forms of animal life, we also have dinosaur eggs, a dragonfly that lived along with the dinosaur that is so incredibly uh, perfect that it looks like that dragonfly has only just died. We have a, an insects in amber, we even have a gecko in amber which is probably one of the best collections of amber in Australia. We also have a, an elephant bird egg, this elephant bird egg here beside me is probably uh, the youngest fossil in our collection, it's only 10,000 years old and it's a, bigger than any dinosaur eggs that were ever laid. This, this elephant bird was over three metres tall Below it we have a, a crab. That crab is actually um, a unique specimen because it's actually animal behaviour that's trapped in a fossil. It's, it looks like it was actually it was fossilised in action. It's in defence pose. It's about to fight something big and dark that's coming towards it. But what it would have actually have killed it would have probably been some sort of a mudslide and it actually got suffocated and trapped in that mud and fossilised in that position with its nippers open ready to attack. There are three dinosaurs in the building. Where else in Australia are you actually going to get eye to eye with a T-Rex? It's a 10.6 metre long Tyrannosaurus rex. It's not the largest one that was ever found, but it's pretty spectacular anyway. It comes from Montana in the USA. The other dinosaurs are a distant cousin of the T-Rex, an Albertosaurus, as well as a little herbivore called a Thessalosaurus. They're the stars of our one of our education programs. We actually have a number of, of different programs that we run, run for school students. We run video conference programs with the author, with the local author Paul Stafford. We, we also have over 10,000 school kids actually physically visiting the museum every year coming on guided tours. We run holiday activities, we run uh, a writers club, we run all sorts of different uh, science days and science activities to try and uh, give the general public and the, the local Bathurst people as well some activities to do at the museum. If you haven't visited our museum it's well worth seeing. The museum is located at 224 Howick Street, Bathurst, right next door to the post office. We're open from 10am till 4pm Monday to Saturday and 10am till 2pm on Sunday. We have a range of mineral and fossil specimens for sale in our gift shop as well as educational items. Visit our website for more information.